Today we're going to talk about the forgotten mineral, iodine. With all the news on COVID, all the craziness this year, I bet most of us, including myself, are tending to forget about iodine. But my publisher just sent me my book on iodine, and it's very much in my thoughts again. I did publish about it uh, maybe five months ago when research came out, uh, first from Malaysia, about using uh, provolone iodine, the, the iodine you can buy very inexpensively at the pharmacy, every pharmacy in the world, and just put a little bit in your nose and or goggle with it, and it offers great protection against viruses, against COVID. Now the research comes out from the University of Connecticut Medical School that iodine is effective against COVID. You know, viruses tend to, to infect our nasal passages, our oral cavity. In the old days, many decades ago, they used to vaporize iodine into the air to control viruses, bacteria, fungus in hospital settings. Iodine is incredibly important, and we shouldn't forget about it. In fact, we should be using it every day. Or if you're very iodine def efficient, meaning have plenty of iodine in your body, you should still use it once a week, big dose once every two weeks. I've been taking iodine for 15 years, so I'm not, I, I doubt if I'm iodine deficient, but I only remember to do it like once every 10 days or so. Of course, I take it with selenium. But most people in the world, if you haven't been supplementing heavily with iodine, oh, tend to be iodine deficient. Dr. Brownstein, who practices near Detroit, tested like 7,000 patients and found 96% iodine deficient with about 30% of those being very deeply iodine deficient. In the age where we are worried about things, this year, the, the scare, the panic, the fear of COVID, if you were using iodine, there would be no reason to be afraid. Because iodine, now most of my readers do not forget about iodine. And they probably don't take after, use me as an example. But the mainstream of life, even though it has been published, like from the University of Connecticut, that iodine does work, you don't see it anywhere near the mainstream. There's no, it's just a forgotten mineral. Though a hundred years ago they knew it was essential to supplement the, the population, and all over the world, they used to put iodine, and still do, in most salt. Not all salt, but most salt. We need the iodine more than ever today. You have to remember that you can't live, your cells cannot live without iodine. Every cell needs it because it's the backbone of metabolism. Some tissues, like the breast, the thyroid, the ovaries, and the prostate glands concentrate more iodine than other tissues. And as such, when we're deficient, these tissues become deficient and leave them vulnerable to cancer. So iodine is protective against cancer. In t t 10 years ago, Fukushima blew up and threw out a vast amount of radioactive iodine into the world. Some people concentrate on the iodine that only has a half-life of eight days. So by now, there's very little, of none. But there's another form of iodine that has a half-life of 15.7 million years. What happens when you're iodine deficient? 
the thyroid get, becomes desperate to find anything that even looks like iodine in a, in a structural chemical sense. So if you're drinking fluoride water, the fluoride is very similar to iodine. Bromide gets stuck. Mercury, heavy metals become pollute the thyroid. And because when you're deficient and hungry for iodine, if there's any radioactive iodine around, that'll flow into the thyroid also. So iodine is protective against radioactive iodine. Most of us have been reading for the last 10 years the dangers of antibiotic resistant infections that are increasingly running rampant in the hospitals. Most recently, we hear about fungus infections, bacterial pneumonia, as increased problems that are increasing. Antibiotics have been overused and thus much less effective. And sometimes people get infections, they just, pharmaceuticals don't have an answer for. In the age of COVID, with people wearing masks, what happens when you have something damp and warm over your mouth and nose? It's a breeding ground for infections. Bacterial, fungus, candida. We don't know how much of the pandemic was actually bacterial and and fungus. In 1918, we always hear how many people died of the virus, but if you look at the histories, most of the people in 1918 did not die of viruses, they died of bacterial pneumonia. And again, they were all wearing, a lot of people were wearing masks in those days. Iodine is the medicine for the future, because in the age of pathogen-resistant infections, I mean, inf infections that resist antibiotics and antifungals, iodine is the answer. Iodine kills on contact viruses, and that's not actually correct. It doesn't kill viruses, it eliminates them, because viruses are not alive. But viruses, bacterial, fungus, mildew, candida, they cannot become resistant to iodine. So why don't we hear about it? There are a lot of things we don't hear about. Doctors don't hear it either. So out of sight, out of mind. And this is a crime. This whole these months, these five months since December when they came out with the vaccines, which were um, not approved, but emergency authorized viruses, they were, the approval, emergency approval is dependent on the fact that there's no other treatment. There are many treatments for infections, but the mainstream leaves them out of the equation. And this is not just the, the, these five months. This has been a chronic situation where the most important and useful medicines are just forgotten. And iodine is one of them. So take your iodine. There are two forms of iodine I recommend, nascent iodine and Lugol's iodine, both liquid. The nascent iodine is better for children or more sensitive people who have uh, thyroid conditions because it's an atomic form. Lugol's is a molecular form. I recommend Lugol's for body painting. And uh, women should be painting their breasts with iodine to protect them from breast cancer or to treat breast cancer. And nascent iodine for iodine sensitive people. It's more expensive. I live in Brazil. 
It's very difficult for me to get the not sent iodine here. I use Lugols for oral. So my recommendations are for both, but the Lugols is perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. So don't forget to take your iodine. If you want to live a long time, have any good energy, protect for you even from heart disease, of course the heart muscles, a very high metab using very high rates of metabolism run on iodine iodine deficient you start running into cardiac problems so iodine is wonderful don't be without it if you enjoyed this video please press the like button if you have some comments Go to the bottom of the YouTube and put in your comments, any questions. I'll, I'll take a look at these questions and maybe generate some new material. Go over to my site, drcircus.com. That's D-R-S-I-R-C-U-S. -S. Sign up for my newsletter. And um, pass this video around. Send it to your friends, to your family. Iodine is that important.